Well, here I am again at Stringer Acres, South Carolina. You can see all that old brush and everything that was in here has been finally peeled off and taken away and the grass is all grown in and it's really looking clean and tidy out here. The well has been really improved on. I think that's a neat little idea there. And I tried out the, the water bale this morning. Everything works fine. Of course, he's got a pump house in there too, but it sure looks cool. And this is total eclipse day, and it has just now begun the cycle. It's a little bit after one, and a few of the neighbors are over there. I've kind of got a camera set up over there to record uh, some of it as well. Of course, I don't have a lens that'll go right to the sun, so I'm just going to set that up so we can see the, how dark it gets here, and I'll have this one kind of panning around. Hopefully, I can edit the two together and make an interesting video out of it, but you know, NASA and those places are where you're going to see the actual eclipse straight at the sun, which I think is going to be really cool. Just being in it is going to be cool. It is right now a little bit after 1 o'clock on Monday, and it's a fairly cloudless day. There's a few little clouds here and there, but it's not going to bother anything, I don't think. So we're here in another hour when totality is upon us, as they say, it will be midnight dark around here. Stars will be in the sky. It's going to be really neat at 2 o'clock in the afternoon in South Carolina to see it go completely dark. It's pretty exciting. So anyway, I'm going to turn this part off and hopefully we'll get a video when it really starts to come on in. Yeah, we're about 2.12 or so, and we have a cloud rolling over that is really kind of messing us up. And it looks like it might be here for a minute or two. That's going to be a drag. But even before the cloud got here, you could definitely tell a little cool down here. All right, well, it's 2.30 now, and the clouds had just cleared through, so we got a clear sun. There's no clouds, but it's nearly total right now. And it may be difficult to see it on this camera, but it's significantly darker right now and in a, just a couple of minutes we're going to have a complete cover here and we're all hanging and watching and we were really worried about it for a minute when that big old cloud was coming over but just at the last second it burned through we're almost there and we've got a clear sky and what's left of the sun we're we're right there all right we are literally just moments from totality here in fact at this point without the sunglasses you can look at the sun 
for a moment or two anyway and see that we're nearly here but it is less bright we can actually feel it being cooler here and we are uh, it, it can't be two minutes uh, it may be two minutes I don't I don't really know I've never I can't gauge this sort of thing but it's definitely look at that that is that's nearly dusk out there I'm not going to point the camera right at it. There's six mile way out there. Neil and Andy and Bill and neighbors gathered in here. And it's, it, you got to be here to notice how much cooler it is right now. I'm going to try my glasses over this lens and see what happens. I don't know if that can be seen or not, but that's the sliver we have left. And it is indeed a sliver. Heck, I'm taking sunglasses off now. Well, I didn't say I was going to stare right up at it, but it's significantly darker right now. It's a, can you feel how much cooler it is? It is cooler. Oh, yeah, because we were sweating before. Yeah. Oh, it's a lot cooler. It's got to be 10, 15 degrees cooler. <laughs> You better get your wool socks out, Dick. We are nearly there. It's the sun is much less intense. The temperature has dropped significantly, 10, 15 degrees cooler than it was 20 minutes ago. And there is just a bare sliver of the sun left to see. And it looks like, well, in the summertime, it looks like 7.30, 8 o'clock in the evening. Feel how fast it's happening now? Isn't it? It's much dark. It does. This is just incredible. Yeah. It's 2.30, quarter to 3 in the afternoon. A brilliant summer day in South Carolina. It has been in the 90s. And it can't be. Look at this. Look how fast it's happening. Wow. Wow. Holy moly. It is getting dark. It is getting dark. Wow. I mean, it's. Whoa. Whoa. That is so neat. 
This is Wow. And we're going to be here for about two and a half minutes, I think, three minutes. It is dark. This is what it looks around here every evening along about 9, 30, 10 o'clock. You can't even see over there and of course the benefit is you don't have all the city lights the light pollution they call it kind of messing you up we should is that a star up there yeah. we're looking at stars look stars Stars. This is something else. Pickens, South Carolina, August 31, 240 in the afternoon on a brilliantly bright day and out of nowhere, here we come. This is something else. That is so cool. This is just Krazu. <laughs> Here it comes. We're coming back. Look how quick this is happening. Yeah. look how quick it's getting Wow. Here it comes. That damn kid's still fooling with the with the demo switch. Whoa. Holy moly. That's just a little dot of the sun. Imagine how intense it's going to be in about 20 minutes. <laughs> Holy cow. You can feel it warming up again, too. I'm not looking at it. Holy cow. 